Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. John McGinn, number 11, Ollie Watkins. And number 20... Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, the two central midfield players need to have a different skill set. The holding midfield player has to be good defensively, whereas the player at the top of the diamond has to be expansive with his passing and be the team's creative spark. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Lon in the fullback positions. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Coutinho. Danny Ings! Oh, he's missed the chance to open the scoring. Well, that would have been a great start to the game, but that's a bad miss. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, nicely cut out. Well, I think many would agree, Hyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Well, wasteful from Spurs. Douglas Luiz. Tyrone Mings. McGinn. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. It did look on for them, but not to be. Kane. Now Son. Eric Dyer. And intercepts again. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. Reguilon. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. Yeah. 
playing it short. Cutting infield here. Son. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Douglas Luiz not showing good defensive judgment promising move from Tottenham Rivière keeper did his job to begin with and relief as the keeper holds on well he reacts so quickly doesn't he that's a great bit of work from him McGinn Wasteful again in possession. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Javier. Reguilon. Dejan Kulusevski. Excellent passing. Well, then the one that fails to hit its target. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Chance to play it in. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Matt Doherty. Now Harry Kane. Bentancourt. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Doherty. Maybe a chance for Spurs here to take the lead from a corner. But he's gone short with it. Regained possession. Bentancourt plays it back oh the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one well that's not great is it there's been a real lack of quality in the game the passing's been too safe and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players the recipe for a poor spectacle plenty of options Douglas Luiz it could be up for grabs well, they can bring it out now. Bentancourt. Rebier. It's with Bentancourt. Harry Kane. And Rebier with it. Now Harry Kane. Rob them. Rebier. Harry Kane. Well, beaten East. Oh, in with a chance! Can they stop it going in? And a time for cool heads. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. McGinn. Too much pace on that particular pass. Harry Kane. Bentancourt with it. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Son. Crisp tackling.
Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. And the match begins. Danny Ings! Oh, he's missed the chance to open the scoring. Well, that would have been a great start to the game, but that's a bad miss. Son. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Dejan Kulusevski. Javier. No way through. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. And space for the cross. And when you take the throw in, you're not then supposed to get caught offside. Well, that's ridiculous. That should never happen. Bentancur. Well, not covering himself in glory. Can they keep it out? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Bentancur. Harry Kane losing out in that little battle. Watkins. Ings. And now Coutinho. Can they trouble the opposition this time? teammates to play it to just possess there tremendous piece of tackling pressing high and they have the ball again a foul it most certainly was free kick given spurs to make a personnel switch now coming onto the pitch number 27 Lucas This to open the scoring here. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Away they go again. Now can Spurs come up with an answer? He's enjoying space. But quick thinking defensively. Well, as you can see, Villa are seeing much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And the attack looks promising. A glorious chance. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. McGinn. Coutinho. And they find a gap in the defence. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball.
Ings. Top class defending. Lucas. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Coutinho. And a creative look about this. And let's give credit to the defending. 20 minutes to go. Bentancourt. And unable to keep possession. Coutinho. And a crisp effort. Just over the top. And they will make the change now. Can they take advantage? Son. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And he's fired over the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Good looking move, this. And the chance for Ings. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Another goal from this corner would, in all likelihood, secure victory. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Another time for cool heads. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Pabier. Doherty has it. Kane. And Pabier with it. Bentancourt. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Applying vigorous pressure. Douglas Luiz. And they saw the situation developing. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Romero. Pierre given away by Tottenham. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? Well, we know what back pocket means. He's off. Well, no doubt in my mind, he had to go. It was a dangerous tackle. Substitution for Aston Villa. Substitution time it is. Number 
Ings. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Javier. Well, good idea, but just a little bit too much on the ball. Here is Dinya. McGinn. Opportunity here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. And the match begins. Danny Ings! Oh, he's missed the chance to open the scoring. Well, that would have been a great start to the game, but that's a bad miss. Son. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. This to open the scoring here. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. And a crisp effort just over the top. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Good-looking move, this. And the chance for Ings. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Another goal from this corner would in all...